Wow, it's a big old black screen. I apologize. Let's get rid of that. Beautiful. So basically, <laughs> humble beginnings. This is the October trailer showcase where I'm basically just going to go through a YouTube playlist of the trailers that we missed. And actually kind of, uh, I realized my little uh, existence in this corner completely blocks the first title. So what it is, is a Disney film. This is a perfect thing I really should have made content on. I just wasn't into it at the time, right? I, I know I skimmed through this, so I, I know a tad things about it. Uh, my girlfriend said it reminds her of Legend of Korra, so we'll see how it do. This is, well, see yourself. And let me know if the audio is alright. It's Rhea and the Last Dragon! I could see the Korra connections, it's not the same kind of design. Found it. Give me some shell. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. She's a Disney princess because she's got a talking animal. That's part of the rules. Well, not talking animal, an animal friend. And the studios have bought you Moana and Frozen. Oh. Wow, this is very Legend of Korra. Like, it's water tribe outfits and everything. I trained to become a guardian of the dragon gem, but this world has changed. It's like a mystical... And its people are divided. Honestly, Raider is not that Now, to restore peace, I must find the last dragon. My name... Is Raya. Oh, Raya, excuse me, not Raya. That's my English accent coming out. Uh, uh, huh. You're getting a little too big for this, bud. Wow, they really kind of. They really kind of skipped out on the whole. That was all prologue, wasn't it? I just realized the. Uh, that is the. Uh, that's the Disney castle just tucked away in there. Is that part of the story? Like there's a, a lump that grew on the on the lands? That's interesting. Have they always done that? Have they always put their castles inside the movie? I just assumed it was the same old river, but I mean, maybe I've just never been paying attention. Look at that. It's giving me vibes of something, but I can't like remember the names of anything. Like I could just list off a bunch of generic things. Like uh, I've been watching Carmen San Diego on Netflix. That makes me think of like a little bit of a ninjury spy kind of thing. Uh. Reminds me of the Dora the Explorer live action, I guess. You had no idea this existed in, in E until you brought it up, but now that I know it does, I'm not so sure it's going to be a big, a good movie. Well, this one, interesting. Because, like, this is the next Moana, right? This is the next major Disney thing. You'd assume it'd be good, although actually, do does it sing? Uh, they made a Disney movie that doesn't sing. Didn't they? Uh, it's like Wreck-It Ralph. Is this, yeah, what level... Do we know what kind of degree this is at? Is this... Uh, do they name the studios anywhere? It's Mo the Moana Frozen People. Which is... Uh, that could just be... That's Disney. That's anybody. They could have said Star Wars and Marvel. It still would be accurate. Mm, no, no, not really. Interesting. Okay. I... It's interesting. Because that was that's all just the prologue. So, like, actually... <laughs> Thinking of analyzing it for the story, there ain't there ain't many you know options. She has a a shed full of weapons that she might have stolen from uh, an authority figure who was older than her and said don't do it, but trained her in the ways. Or she's part of some kind of tribe, you know. She put on that's probably not hers, but she wore it, you know. Went out of her depths to find something. Probably is told not to, but does it anyway. Has an animal friend that's playing for the cute factor, like the chicken and the pig from Moana, or the gecko from Frozen 2, or 
any other insect that ever exists. The the other lizard in Tangled, you know, it's kind of playing your Disney tropes. Uh, I don't know how she. I guess she just. Interesting. Was it actually? Is she? Is she got a, a destiny kind of thing going on? If she's already got the right weapons. Otherwise, like, what did she find? Found a garden. That's actually probably relevant. That's interesting. So this is also... We've done Mystical Worlds in Disney. But yeah, Frozen has ice powers. Tangled has hair powers. Moana has, yeah, godly powers. And this is like mystical kind of... Lighting powers. Again, the, the destined one to grab the special thing. I get it. With AI holographic kind of... That's not a human feel like. Oh well, he's pretty humanish. But why? The guardian, the test. My whole life, I trained to become a guardian of the dragon gem. But guardian the of the dragon gem. Gem. Okay. And its people are divided. And... Okay. She just looks like the the character from The Incredibles. The song sounds like the one from Frozen Two. I guess, yeah, you know, the similar kind of screechy, there's a car crash happening somewhere in the distant sound, I get it, yeah, sure. Seems like the plot of Moana, yeah, I'm definitely feeling a Moana formula out of this. Drawing water towards, not flowing away, yeah. So, the dragon, oh, so it's, the dragon gem, is that not just, it's either gonna be, the dragon gem awakens the dragon and she's like using the gem as the guardian to go and find the dragon and awaken it the dragon gem is the dragon it's the egg then she has two insect animals to deal with which is angled and moana i like okay this is interesting. yeah so it's people are divided so she and obviously that's the guy that's the guy she just fought right everyone that yeah, I don't know. this guy is the same person. That's the hair, plonked up, with a mask. There he is again. Yeah. He's the mentor. He is the current in the prologue. I bet he's the guardian of the dragon gem, and he's training her to be his uh, disciple, to move on, to be what he is in his place. And then she grows up, and has to deal with the politics of the world, and looking after the gem. Same clothes, maybe the previous guardian, and then ends up not becoming it, and then has to make her way up to the leaderboard by finding the dragon. Yeah, okay. You think this is still part of the training? Like, it's you got to awaken the dragon to do something. Here's a thing. These... Yeah, okay. These tribes each have... I'm a little bit colorblind, so I can't tell the difference between these three. I, I can tell these two are different. I don't know where they're from. Are they them? They've got different animals to them. So, like, these guys have got wolf things in the corner over here. These guys have got elephants or mammoths, I guess. Oh, what's the time period? Yeah, they've got, like, mammoth tusks. They've got wolf fangs. They've got something with claws, but like, uh, I guess, no, then, are they, if they match, no, they're very, I'm too colorblind for this, like, she's got a, what is it, a pangolin, uh, armadillo, he, she, that's her animal, maybe that's not part of her tribe, are there five tribes or four, you see what I'm seeing, they're all different, so they're, they're on their own separate plane, is there only two of them, interesting, and then they've got the spiral, with like, I don't know what I'm looking at. Are they like, uh, uh, whatever Tauros is, a bull carries their things. That's interesting. So they're all one tribe, but they have like different. Also, this is a main character right here. This is their rival. Are they, are they all got children? No, this isn't like Brave. All right, just putting the pieces together. There's not much to take from this just because this is just the prologue. I bet this is what you see in the first 10 minutes of the film. And then we get to the main plot, because this is just the, uh, you know, the backstory. Bill, this is just like Moana, but Disney is trying to show us the same plot of Moana. Yeah. I guess they found a formula that works. They're gonna, you know, magical girl with magical powers goes on magical journey. Um, but maybe they'll explore, like, is this, I guess this is original. I'm, I feel like there's, like, uh, inspirations going on here, but I, I don't recognize it. I ain't a cultured man. So, they've all got, oh, they've got different weapons. The spiral guys have sickles. Uh, purple guys have daggers. Lovely. Completely. Can you imagine just being in like a kind of tribal town and this is your color palette? Not necessarily because it's like a pinky kind of purple, but just it's so vibrant. 
you know? Animals will see you from a mile away. It's more like you're trying to advertise that you're toxic and not to be eaten. I bet if that comes into like their landscape is actually like a place of poison or edible, oh, that would be interesting. Uh, these guys have like also, I guess, swords, maybe an axe at the back. They're like a, yeah, that's an axe. Oh man. They're the brutes. I get it. Yeah. And then these next ones are the posh ones, right? Yeah. Spears. She's so, she's so like, they're going to be the, the rival or like the, maybe it's the pseudo love interest to, to, you know, try and aim a little bit more towards the, a certain demographic that they're like, oh, this will boost up our, our brownie points. Who knows? I could see, like, although Disney has to be careful because of the handle uh, going on, but you never know. It'd be interesting. The guys on the left had the exact same color and the same clothes as airbenders. Okay, yeah, I could see that. I mean, it could be an elemental thing as well. They've already established different animals and different clothing, different weapons, so I could absolutely see this being like, uh, they're all different elements. You know, maybe not necessarily water, fire, earth, and fire, uh, air. That's the fourth one. But yeah, okay. Um, also feels like there'll be a bit of a time lapse because of the animal companions getting bigger. Yes. Well, uh, I think it's just a, yeah, it's just a jump. That's a jump like 10 years later. That's how I read it. Maybe it shows the whole story. Because uh, we don't see her as a teen, you know? It's a different attack set. No, no, it's just the same. Enjoy this lovely sound effect. I love this though. This world is wah. I like it gives me like Dune vibes, and I haven't even watched Dune, but like I love. I just love I, not even magical, just new worlds. You know, I came from a world of Pikmin. I like alien worlds like this. Like I could get into this. And yeah, so she has her own. So like, you say the last dragon. There's clearly two of them. Like, do we don't do we just not care about this dragon over here? Is it gonna be symbolic? She's the dragon. Whoa! And this is the other the other girl. Whoa! But the dragon the whole time. Like how Moana was like the goddess the whole time, or something. Like, looks. I mean, somewhat looks like it could be female. That is that is that the gem on fire, surrounded by darkness. But then they're both good dragons, but then they've got the dark cloud. I don't know what to read from this. One of them probably died or they don't care about the dragon. Yeah, right. It's like, wow, I'm looking for the last dragon. And then she finds two in a cave. She's like, well, I want the last dragon, not the last dragons. I'm gonna kill one of you. Hey, I found the last dragon. Congratulations. Your species is now so endangered. It is doomed to an existence of extinction. So not really in a at all. I found you though. Last dragon. Yeah, there's a gem in the background glowing as it does in the middle of the, the panel. Is Raya. Raya. Interesting. I for some reason I was expecting it to be a rolling R like Raya. A bit more magical mystical, but no. It's fine. Not a problem. Not what I expect. What's that? That's something. Okay, okay, that's just a fancy animation, I guess. Interesting. In a wet place with a wet cave where she goes to rediscover the gem in the first place. The only other cave we've seen. And then after this, it's like... Oh no, this is this actually... Okay. A dragon? Dandle, dangling thing? On her... Okay. Fancy. Wow, that's actually, that's really good animation. I'll tell you what. Or like, good uh, design. Graphics. Wow. Magical. I forgot there was actually bronze to this. Tuk Tuk. Tuk Tuk? Isn't that the name of Bolin in Legend of Korra's, like, acting role? Tuk Tuk. Oh, Alright, I like his name. <laughs> Gotta get that humor in there. Okay. That's probably where the dragons are. You think it's that easy? I guess it could be where the dragons are. I assume the dragon gem and the dragons are kind of one in the same, but that makes a lot of sense. You know what that desert aesthetic is reminding me of? It's totally Rango from 2011. Ah, I ain't seen Rango either. Don't know if it's just me, but she kind of looks like Pocahontas, but 3D and a little younger. I see it. 
Disney characters kind of blend together a little bit. I think that's just kind of the Disney design, you know? Kind of like the trailer, to be honest. I, I kind of do too. It's very open and in very early days. I think this will succeed and do pretty well. I don't know if it will critically blow me away, though. Like, Moana was good, though. I feel like it's a second-hand Moana. You know, it, it could have that. That's the bar they're aiming for. I don't think they're... We haven't got enough evidence to say they've reached it yet. Um, it'd be interesting to hear the song. I assume it's the song, right? Can I copy your homework? Absolutely, that's what they've done. They've just found a form. <laughs>